Hello and welcome to another episode of Top Deck, the series where we take a look at some of the leading TCG deck lists. And on today we have Ryan, who made top 32 at the UK National Championship with none other than Endymium Amorphage Pendulum Magician. So there's a whole bunch of engines that are thrown into this deck that all just fit so well together and enabled him to make it well into top cut. So let's run through the list pretty quickly then. So Triple Razor, uh, Goliath, Lechery and Sloth are the Amorphages he's gone for. In case you don't know what they do, uh, both Goliath and uh, Sloth stop the either player from summoning from the extra deck uh, once they're on the field. Um, and Lechery, um, or actually all of, sorry, all of the uh, Amorphages stop people from special summoning stuff from the extra deck uh, while they're on the field. Um, however, you will, you will have to pendulum summon off, flip face up the, the Lechery to get that effect off. Um, and then in the scales, Goliath is like a macrocosmos for every, everything except Amorphages. Uh, Lechery is like uh, Imperial Order, I guess. Oh, well, you can't even activate your spell cards, uh, so pretty similar. Um, apart from Amorphage cards, of course. Uh, and then Sloth uh, stops people from adding, so it's essentially a mistake within the uh, Pendulum Zone. Um, then the typical uh, Magician lineup of Double Black Fang, Triple Chrono, uh, Triple Magician, um, and the one Time Gazer, one Purple. Uh, so none of the other usual Magicians here. Uh, there's one Dragon Caller Magician, which is pretty interesting uh, to see in here. One Destrudo, one Endymion, um, one Jackal King, triple um, Servant of Endymion, triple Dark Worm, one Gate Zero. Uh, double Shrine, one Foolish and Double Alliance, Double Pendulum Call, Triple Desires, Triple Spell Power Mastery, and one Upstar Goblin in a 41 card deck. Of course, because you want to be able to trigger your Endymion cards. The fact that you can turn your Servant into um, an Electromite instantly, or half of an Electromite with a, a Jackal King on board, is really, really good. Um, and then for the extra deck, we have the typical Vortex, uh, Boris Savage. A Cybus Quantum, this one's pretty interesting, we'll get his commentary on this one. Uh, Dawn Dragster and Ignissa, very very common here. Uh, Best Dweller, obviously super strong. Uh, Beat Cop, Borrowload, Borrow Sword, the usual Guard Dragons, Electromites, the Hieratic. Saeuja and Triple Burst, all for the usual Guard Dragon-y stuff. Uh, in the side deck, Triple Lancia, Triple Denko, Triple Sphere Mode, Triple Twisters and Triple Red Reboot. Very very uh, sort of simple and streamlined. For dealing with particular problems that he's likely to face. Uh, so in terms of the rounds that he played, uh, this was a 10 round event um, in Smiths and then he played two rounds of Top Cut, so he played against Cyber Dragon, Crusadia Guard Dragon, Orcus, Danger Thunder, Salamangrate, Orcus again, Sky Striker, uh, another Salamangrate, Mind Striker, and True Draco. Um, uh, so the two losses that he took were to Salamangrate and Orcus. Uh, since he did um, pull out a draw against the other Salamangra, it looks like he's actually had a relatively tough time against Salamangra. Possibly because the deck is very much focused on extending into bigger combos and the hand traps really punish you there. Uh, against Orcust, very even, winning one and losing one. Both 2 1 each time, so definitely a hard fought uh, set of matches there. Uh, and then steamrolling over pretty much everything else. Uh, even Danger Thunder, which can sometimes be a struggle for this kind of deck, uh, he found relatively easy. In top 64, he took an Altergeist victory uh, and then unfortunately lost out uh, against Mech Knight Invoked, uh, which I believe was Leon's list. Um, so that's it for the rounds, let's get his additional comments. So he said the event was really fun, um, a lot of uh, travelling with friends and two of them made top uh, 128, so shout outs uh, to the people who came with him, um, which is Ben, uh, ben Jackson and Harry Moore, uh, Matt Ellis and Luke Weir. Uh, also shout outs to his locals, CGC Chichester, and last shout out goes to Oliver Newton for not flipping floodgates in the standby uh, so that Ryan could denko him for the win in top 64. Uh, an extra shout out also goes to Ben as he lent him some cards and came 78th with trains or choo choos. Um, the deck performed really well and only bricked twice. He would cut the Dragon Caller as it did not come up and Cybers Quantum as neither did that. Uh, Tornado Dragon probably needs to be added as there is no spell or trap removal within the main deck, apart from of course the uh, purple, purple Poison. 
Um, maybe replace the Twin Twisters in the side deck for Cosmic Cyclone, because the discard is really problematic for the deck where you need so many cards. Uh, but he did need a way to out Mystic Mine, which of course they did. Other than that, the deck was really fine. Um, extra note, a lot of people scooped game 1 when he did the full combo, so he didn't know what they were playing, so Pancratops is another option there. Uh, he found Salamangrate to be the hardest matchup due to the amount of hand traps, but if they don't have one then you should probably win, uh, and the other matchups felt easy enough. The board that he aims to end on is Amorphage Sloth, or Lechery, in the scale, with Goliath on board, summoned from a Skull Dread, alongside Dweller, Jackal, and Vortex, and he made that board really consistently and it won him each game and that he did it because it just beats pretty much every deck out there. Uh, as another note, he decided not to run uh, Master Cerberus um, because he figured that it would conflict with the Servant and it is a brick past turn 1. So he replaced them with Curtain Razors which uh, were really amazing all weekend as it is a counter for Servant and a summon and if you draw Dragon Shrine it is a normal summon and if it is your only normal summon then you can beat over Nat Beast with it uh, which came up against the Crusader player in round 2. Uh, in terms of the siding, of course, we sided in uh, the Denko for any pretty much any any back row deck that existed, mainly Striker. Uh, Sphere Mode was of course for the Mirror Match and Orcus, and any other deck that makes a big board other than Danger Thunder. Um, Lancia was for Orcus and for Danger Thunder, and the Triple Twin was for Sky Striker and Mystic Mind decks, and the Triple Reboot was just for anything, obviously, that sided in two traps or mained a lot of traps. So thanks very much for coming on Ryan, sharing your list. Congratulations on making top 32 at this year's UK National Championship. Really cool list, really like the take on it with the, the three or more pages and the nice little um, Endemium package that you put in here. This reminds me a lot of the ARG list that we saw. Um, maybe you take inspiration from that, maybe you didn't, maybe you just came up with these ratios on your own. Uh, but overall, very solid deck and congratulations on the top. This channel is supported by Tier Zero Games. Head to the link in the description in order to pick up the latest Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon cards, other TCGs, as well as plenty of accessories, and stay tuned for more videos on the Yu-Gi-Oh! channel. Thanks for watching this episode of Top Deck. If you have any comments or suggestions that you would like to make, leave them in the comment section down below. Check out the description for details of how you can get involved in this series. You can enter by a voice interview, or instead you could just send all of your information over Facebook Messenger, anything like that will be absolutely fine. If you want to see anything in particular from the upcoming series, then be sure to get in touch, and I'll see you guys in the next video.